Okay, he's got one more. Can he plague it? Plague it? Plague it? Oh, no. Doesn't get the plague off. I think these might have been on the high ground, so he didn't have vision. But this is actually crazy. Now Whistler is mining, and Tashu isn't. Could Whistler make a comeback? Is that even possible? Is that possible? Oh my god, if Whistler wins this game. If Whistler wins this game, that would be ridiculous. And all the plague, the huge plague! Plague, oh, plague, oh. Oh my god, now, now he can't engage the Hydras anymore. He's got a bunch of, like, no HP battle cruisers that are stuck. They're stuck between spores and Hydras. They're stuck. They can't leave. They're useless now. They are useless now. Uh, it looks like Kashi meanwhile has rebuilt some of his bio. Uh, he's like, okay, okay, man. BC's not working. All right, let me let me just make some Marines. That's Marines are pretty cheap. Uh, Marines are indeed. Wow, 15 kills, 12 kills, a million kills on these BCs. And oh no, losing some more defilers. And yes, actually, it's uh, one thing I forgot to point out is that these defilers don't have the energy upgrade. They're still uh, only 200 max energy, which is actually quite a big deal because if you have the energy upgrade, you can do uh, one swarm and one plague per defiler. But if you don't have the energy upgrade, you can't. You can only do two dark swarms uh, or one plague, but not both. Now, it uh, looks like Kashu just suiciding some SCVs here. Kashu, I don't know if he can actually... Uh, keep or rather defend another base. Looks like he's going in with a lot of vultures. He's a scan this. Comsat! Comsat! And oh, looks like random patrolling hydras. Actually, look at this. Whistler is actually sending hydras everywhere. He's just trapped these BCs. He knows they're stuck there. He doesn't want them escaping. And uh, going in with some ultras and hydras here in the front. But that's a lot of spider mines and siege tanks. For the first time in the game, we're seeing siege tanks. This is like the 82 minute mark. And the first siege tanks have appeared on the battlefield, ladies and gentlemen. Now, do note that this is a best of three with Kashu up 1-0. So, Kashu, even if he loses, he's uh, he can still still he still has a chance in the series. Whereas, for Whistler, this is a must-win situation if he wants to stay in the tournament. Oh, man. I I can't believe it. I thought Kashu was going to win. But, uh-oh, uh-oh. Can the Hydras actually range them? I think the Hydras can range them from here. Right? I think he can. Yeah. Look. 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 Oh. Wait, what? Oh, oh, BC! Only two battle cruisers remaining, but whoa, that is a lot of units. Oh man, could you imagine like if there was Zerg units just dropped on here with the mines? And whoa, that is quite a nice vessel cloud. I just heard vultures killing a drone. What? Okay. Anyway, um, so Kasha is now moving out with a lot of dudes. Now, uh, he his bio switch his. <laughs> his his late game bio switch after battle cruisers should be quite effective against these hydras. Hydras by themselves not cost effective against Menic Marine at all. And look at that Whistler. He needs some lurkers or something, but he's got no gas. Whistler's got only minerals and no gas. And the ultras are being irradiated. Oh man, this tech switch could actually be genius for Kashu because Whistler's only got hydras now. Hydras are just not good. They're not good. They are not good, and they're actually just all getting irradiated. Some nice target firing by Whistler on his own irradiated hydras, but look at that. Mass irradiates going down, and this push, this push of Kashu, I don't know how Whistler's going to stop this. He doesn't really have the unit composition that he needs to stop this. Look at the med uh, the Marines just tearing through everything. Uh, Kashu being very bold with his vessels, though. I don't really agree with that. And, oh, unfortunately for him, these vessels aren't actually plagued. But uh, what is he doing? Vessels, man! They're expensive! Stop that! Stop suiciding vessels. All right, all right, good. And oh man, he's gonna have to get some clutch swarms down or something. At least medic marine don't do anything. Underdog swarm. Can he get it down? Can he get a plague off? Swarm, do something. Plague. Two swarms go down. Nice position. Interestingly enough, though, uh, the hydras. If there are marines under there, the hydras won't damage them. But here we go. Whistler engaging here. I don't know if that's a good idea. He's running out from under the dark swarm. That is not a good idea. Oh man, losing so much. And looks like the two random BCs <laughs> tried to get into the fight, getting taken down. Looks like he went up for a radiate, didn't have any energy, uh, which is interesting to say the least. So we have a reverse resource situation. Whistler has a bunch of minerals and no gas. Kashu has a bunch of gas and no minerals. And Kashu, oh my god, Kashu is actually not mining and has no minerals. Look at that, his minerals are not going up. Kashu is at 120 food and 196 minerals and that's it, but he's breaking the front. He's breaking the front, and Whistler has no units! 
Well, there's no units. He's building Chogalings. He needs more Chogalings, but there are Firebats here. So Chogalings are not going to do that well. Oh no, Whistler! Could this be it? He's running in units from the side, but this spider mine's in the way. Playing on everything! He plays everything! That's going to make Chogalings pretty good. But oh no, Whistler losing his reinforcements to spider mines. A lot of vultures are in the way. A good job by Kashu to intercept those. But one hero Ultralisk onto the Dark Swarm. Can he kill everything that's plagued? No, he runs out from under the Dark Swarm. Whistler looks like he might lose his main base right now. The Defiler getting irradiated. And looks like, oh no, all of the reinforcements getting taken down by the spider mines and the vultures. Only one Defiler is left. Random Hydra's Whistler might want to bring these units or something. Whistler is losing his base. He's got only Zerglings left. Is there, oh my god, is he going to erase her? Oh no, he's erasering. He's erasering the Zerglings. The Chogalings are going down. The Chogalings are going down. And oh no, he did find the Hydras, but they got taken down by Spider Mines. Oh no, the Hydras that were there got taken down. He's going to kill some of these uh, Vultures. It looks like he scourged the vessels. I don't see the vessels anymore. I heard vessels exploding. But he's going to lose his main base. Whistler. Whistler, what is he going to do? He's building a Nidus Canal. Does he even have a spawning pool? He's building a Hadri. He needs to like mass sunk in this base or something. He needs to do... Oh, no, Whistler. He's got money, but no gas. But Kashu is mined out, though. Kashu might want to float this command center over there. Looks like he's going to try and take this base. And he will kill the Lurker there. So, I mean, he's got to float a command center or something. See, once again, man. Terrans. Terrans. When they're mined out, they can still... Uh, just slow command centers, because Terran is imbalanced. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> spawning pool being targeted. And that's gonna be, I mean, that's gonna mean Whistler can't actually make any units anymore. Because he's got no gas. And, oh no, the vultures are coming in! He's got six more colonies and no sunkens! Okay, he has, he has Chogalings, though. And he has ultras. Alright. Alright, he's gonna be safe. But, uh, he's lost his main base. He's lost all his tech. Is he gonna rebuild the lair? Can he even afford it? Um, there is... He rebuilt the Ultra Cavern. Uh, well, I mean, he rebuilt the hive tech, but he has no spawning pool. Oh, no, there's a spawning pool. Okay. And it looks like, indeed, as I said, the command center floating down from the bottom right. So Kashu will be uh, able to mine once again. I mean, this is such a scrappy game right now. It's 91 food for Kashu against 84 for Whistler, but he's going to lose some overlords. He should run them away. Run away. Run away, overlords. And here come the vessels. He needs... I don't know what he needs right now. He needs to not do stuff like that. That's not useful. I don't think that's ever useful. But, uh, well. Uh, Whistler, he's getting close to mined out. He's mining out this base. The natural of this base is mined out. He's got top left and top right. And that's it. There's a scan. Um, I mean, you know, there are some lurkers out right now. So they will do nicely against the Medic Marine. And looks like we might have a pincer attack right here. The vessels are leading, though. No, it looks like Kashu going to retreat back to his siege tanks and going to go and irradiate some stuff first. Getting both Lurkers, very huge move. I mean, at this point, Irradiate, oh, it's just so good for Terran. It's like, ah, oh, it's just free kills, look at that. Oh, whoa. Looks like they were uh, Lover Lurkers, they just died together. And another Command Center. Wait, did he float that all the way from the bottom left? Oh my god, somebody needs to make a Disney movie about this Command Center. That actually must have been the most epic journey ever. Look at that floating direction, it actually came from the bottom left. He floated literally cross-map with a Command Center. And oh no, going for the attack, there is a Nidus here, the Ultras are coming in, the Spore Colonies are doing their work, the Siege Tanks are not sieged, Irradiate going down, uh, it's going to be a huge battle, the Irradiate is doing so much, the Defense Matrix going down, I don't even know what's Defense Matrix, there's one Marine, but there's a Medic Wall, Clutch Medic Wall here with one Marine and two Siege Tanks, oh my god, does he have any more units? Kashu has no more units, oh my, wait, what, Kashu has no units, he's just making vessels, he's got no units, Kashu, has got no units. And there's the there's the swarm! Oh no! Kashu's gonna lose the last of his units! So Kashu, Kashu's mining now. Uh, he's got a handful of units defending this base. Whistler is barely mining as well and also has no units. He's got like four defilers. Wait, what? He's got four defilers in an overall. Is that to avoid getting irradiated? That might actually be to not get irradiated. Wow. Cool move right there. I mean... When you're down to this situation, man, you think of everything. And... 